Now, in a bid to promote peaceful coexistence and religious tolerance among Muslims and Christian faithful across the country, the Muslim Peace Network, MPM, in collaboration with the Rotary Club of Kaduna, has organized Iftar and Lent Peace Summit in the state. The executive chairman or director of the Muslim Peace Network, Imam Hussein Makonjola, said religious intolerance harms society, noting that religious leaders must up their game in preaching the right message to their followers. The Peace Network is to work with religious leaders, to work with community leaders and uh, stakeholders in Kaduna State in order to make sure that we live together in one. We want to go back to the olden day where Christian we follow the Muslim to the Hidil Kabir to celebrate the Salah together. We want to go back to the olden day where Muslim we go to to Muslim Christian home to celebrate the Easter, to celebrate the Christmas together. That is what we are trying to do in the every year like this because we know that Kaduna Muslim in one part, Christian in one part. We want to bring everybody together. We want to let them know that we are one. Where are we separated ourselves? So we want to bring them together to show them that. This is what our Quran is saying. This is what our Bible is saying. Some religious leaders believe that they are above the law, which is not proper. Whatever you say in the TV, whatever you say in the public, you must be very, very careful and you must be fear God. So what you are saying today, you are passing a message to so your follower. You must know what you are saying. The Christian and Muslim clerics say both religions must embrace love and promote peace with one another adding that humanity comes first before religion. So peace is very essential and important. We need to understand each other. And we need to know that we all come from one and the same God. So if we consider that we have one Father, then we should be able to relate with each other and treat one another as brothers and sisters. And that will go a long way in helping us establish and foster unity and peace in the society. Let us not just preach, but let us embrace it and practice it. Just as um, you know, this event is organized this season of um, Ramadan, the holy month of Ramadan, and also the season of Lent for we Christians, uh, we are not just to abstain or fast from meals, pleasures or drinks, but also we are to abstain from whatever, you know, um, constitute obstacle to establishing peace and unity and harmony in the society. So above all, the message of peace should be embraced by all. So it is high time we call, every, we call ourselves together. Let us unite. Let us know what joins us together because what bounds us together is more important and more than what separated us. So we should always remember that uh, we are all human before we could become a Christian. We are all human before we could become a Muslim. I'm advising and admonishing the politicians to desist from this. What will be, will be. If you lie to people, you get to what we are not saying you get to. And if you don't lie to people, you still get there. So let us be truthful. Don't let us take advantage of people because of their faith. Well, some of the participants at the breaking of the fast expressed delight, saying it is timely or it is time for Christians and Muslims to come together to eat, urging that the gesture must be sustained in promoting peace in the state. For us breaking fasting as one year, it shows that we are still serving one God and surprised, but it was beautiful. Trust me, it was really beautiful. Like I could see like the genuine love, you understand, and the sincerity with everybody. And I saw the beauty like sitting down, we could all dine together and share food together. It's it's lovely. Not like Christian cook food for us, you cannot eat nah. So this is really lovely, this is beautiful. I just feel those people that say those are not actually educated, you understand? We don't have to feel the way they say. So this is really lovely, I swear. This is beautiful and I really, really appreciate it. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.